My parents moved to New York from Ecuador in, in the mid-1960s. I grew up in the neighborhood. My dad actually ran a, a business in the neighborhood for over 25 years. When, when I was born, the location was 384 Madison Street, uh, low-income housing projects over there. You know, this is an interesting spot because it's almost not any particular neighborhood. I basically took a wrong turn down this street on my bike one day and looked, looked at the for rent sign. I was like, oh, maybe that, that might be an interesting apartment or whatever. The coincidence that it's on James and St. James was, was also like another kind of added, added bonus. I mean, I've definitely had clients complain like, you know, James, it's so far out of the way, you know. If you were even on Orchard Street near some of the other galleries, you would see every show. We opened up six months prior to the new museum. The day they opened on December 1st, 2007, the foot traffic quadrupled, like, oh, instantly. As for the the, the future of the neighborhood is still kind of in flux as, as New York is, is in, always in flux. The one kind of most compelling characteristic that all of the artists possess and, and, and is, is, is that they simply have like a humane sort of outlook on the world and a humane sort of uh, relationship to their work. Every eight to ten years or so my parents have moved further and further away from the Lower East Side. When I told them I was setting up here um, they couldn't believe that I would move back to exactly where they tried to like, basically escape, you know.